Welcome to Awesome Video Game Memories, where we talk about awesome memories about video games. I'm Ryan. I'm Josh. Player 3, Frank. And the game we're talking about today is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And Knuckles. So what was your first exposure to Sonic the Hedgehog 3? Oh, uh, I got Sonic 3 after I asked my mom specifically to get it for my birthday. So, like, did you get it when it came out in 1994, or uh, no, I got Sonic and Knuckles first. Oh, okay. So Then I got later. Sonic 3, like, oh, a year sweet. later. So, you got to play it with the lock-on technology. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was sweet. pretty sweet. How about you, Josh? Uh, same way that I ran into Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, you know, hearing about it, playing it in a store somewhere, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, it was big news, so I, I heard about it you know, relatively quickly, because it was two cartridges that lock on together. Whoa. How would you ever get that to work? That's crazy. And you put this one and this one together, and they become one game, and things are different. That's insane. Transformers. So that's... Sonic uh, in disguise. So that was <laughs> Sonic in the sky. In the sky. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's... So it was big news, and you know, so I had to play it, but like not even having a Sega, like still somehow managed to play it. Right, like my first exposure to this game is I saw it in Game Pro magazine, it looked amazing, but this was the original version, like in early 1994, like before the lock on technology came out. So I played it at KB Toy Stores. Uh, like, do you guys even know what KB Toy Stores was? Oh, totally, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> doesn't know. But yeah, I played at KB Toy Stores. It felt different than Sonic 2, but then I rented the game over the summer. I finished the game and I thought that was the whole game until the lock-on technology came out a couple months later. Oh, so what were your thoughts on Knuckles, the new character? He was my favorite. Yeah, Knuckles was pretty awesome. It was like the itchy and scratching Poochie show, but Poochie was awesome. He was the Piccolo. He was Piccolo. He was Piccolo. He was pretty rad, like the idea, like he could climb stuff and you know, he was like this punchy guy and he was actually like a rival for Sonic, yeah. not just like some kid. I, had no, I didn't know that Knuckles could climb until like a week after I had the game. Whoa. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? I get to that first part in uh, level one and I was like, I don't know what to do here. So I kept jumping and I accidentally like climbed. I'm like, oh, what? No way! Oh! <laughs> it blew my little kid mind. Matt! Come in here! <laughs> yeah, I remember like playing the original version and I was like, man, it would be so cool if we could play as Knuckles. It would be so cool. Then you got him. I remember um, I did sort of own a portion of the game on PC at one point. There was a demo right. for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like a legit PC version. And it went all the way through like the first stage and you could play as Sonic, Sonic and Tails, Tails, or as Knuckles. And uh, it went all the way through like the first set of Sonic 3 stages. Right. Mm -hmm. So like uh, through, like after the part where like the bombs fall down and you go through and then you fight a boss there and like that's where it cut off. Like oh, okay. that. All right, cool. So. Yeah, so what did you guys think of the stage design? In comparison to Sonic 1 and 2, like I personally thought the stage design took a little step back from Sonic 2 because Sonic 2 was, you know, more focused on speed, but I think they tried to focus the stage design in Sonic 3 on both speed and exploration, but a little more on exploration. I didn't think of that when I was playing it. Right. I was looking at the art, the uh, art and design and whatnot. I thought it was way better than Doom. Oh, really? Like a, okay. an, but an entire league from uh, the first game. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was, like you said, uh, it kind of took a step back from 2, but I think they did that because of the addition of Knuckles they wanted to yeah. have some sort of incentive for you to be able to use the stuff that Knuckles has in terms of like abilities and stuff like that. So they couldn't just focus on, you know, making Sonic oriented stages, right. you know, and for someone like myself who would just rather play like speed stages all day, like it was, it felt a little too much, but you know, it, it's still something, you know, I enjoy. Yeah, because I remember the stages being like really long in this game in comparison to 2 and 1. Yeah, and I think that's... That was kind of a downfall for someone like me who's just kind of like, okay, I'm going to play this for like 30, 40 minutes and then go on with the rest of my day. 
but it, it wasn't. Uh, they're not bad by any means. Oh yeah, they're excellent. You know, Sonic things. Sonic Two just got it perfect for me, and yeah. Sonic Three wasn't like quite perfect for me in particular. Yeah, like what I did like about the stage design, well, actually the game itself is, you know, like Sonic has that insta shield, like right before, like, oh, when, yeah. yeah, it, it like made it a lot easier to fight Robotnik at the end of each stage. I didn't know what it was for. Oh, really? I thought it was like an extra, an extra spin or whatever. <laughs> like Sonic and someone, a spark of electricity. Oh, yeah, yeah and, the and the shields had like uh, their own special uh, yeah, like, properties. Yeah, the fire shields, shields were made. different. Oh, then. yeah, those, yeah, those power ups were pretty rad. Like, oh, I, that's yeah. one of the things, especially that magnetic one that was the, cool left, the electric shield. Oh, yeah, that helped oh. a lot. Yeah. Like, that was, that was pretty amazing, especially like if, if you, you had all super. the emeralds. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. And, and also, one thing about this game, the graphics are beautiful. Mm. Like, among the best of the Genesis. Like, even way better than Sonic 1 and 2 combined. I oh, totally, yeah. Sonic 3 definitely graphically looked great. Like Frank said earlier, the stages, the art, you know, it was leagues beyond and all that stuff. Like, that's totally true. Yeah, I mean, it pushed. Sprite, wrote, yeah, sp sprite work, too. Yeah, it, it, like, pushed the boundaries of the Genesis at the time. Oh, yeah, and also in the carnival stage, like, did you know you had to, like, when you got on those spinning platforms, it's like, did you know you had to press up and down to move them? <laughs> <laughs> that took me another yeah, week to figure Yeah, out. I didn't even know that. What's going on? I was like, I'm not... Do you know what you're talking about, Josh? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, it didn't take me a week to figure it out, but then oh, again... I was not a smart kid. <laughs> well, then again, I wasn't... By the time I got that far in the game and played it that far, like, it was on an emulator or something. Like, I was a teenager, like, I was... I wasn't, you know, it was like my teenage brain versus like eight-year-old Frank brain, you know? <laughs> so like, it was just kind of like, oh, huh, this is weird. What am I supposed to do here? And I start pressing buttons and I'm, you know, a couple seconds later, I'm like, oh, wait, this is right. doing this. Like, you know. Yeah, I remember I was just like really mad. I was like, why am I, go why am I not going down? Or, oh. So I was just like mashing the controller and then I just realized, oh, wait, I press up, I go a little up. Oh, okay, I discovered that. But damn, that was frustrating. It's, it's not even mentioned like in the manual. No. Not at all. You gotta use your little brain to figure it out. Yeah. And so what do you guys think of the music of this game compared to Sonic 1 and 2? Love it. Yeah, it's great music. I think I think it's better in quality, but I don't find it as memorable, if you understand what I mean. Another one made by Michael Jackson. I, I know, but still. Unknowingly. Yeah. yeah, no, it was, I mean, I'm not about to turn around and be all like, but so by the way, Michael Ju. Michael Jackson. Michael the way, Jackson. Yeah. By the way, Michael Jackson's music sucks. You know, like not at all. Like no, it was really good music in yeah. the game. It was really good all together. Like I don't know. I can understand him not liking it, how it turned out so much because you know of it being like chip tunes and whatnot. Right. In the 90s. Yeah. But it was still you know just going into it as a video game. Great music and uh, just a, a total fit for you know the first three or Sonic games, yeah, know, all together. Oh yeah, so what'd you guys actually think of the bonus stages this time around? Wait, which ones? Um, the spear. So not the, um, not the other special stages? You were talking about the spear ones where you get- Yeah, no, yeah, ones. not the, uh, like, gumball machine. Gumball machine and yeah. the electric ball. Yeah. The, the Chaos Emerald ones. Yeah, the Chaos Emerald ones. Uh, that was my favorite. Uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Three of them. Yeah, I think they were, like, really fun. Like, I liked when, if you, like, do, like, a perfect square, then all the spirits are in the rings uh -huh. in that section. That's that, that was pretty much my favorite type of special stage, and really the first time I'd ever started going out of my way to find special stages. Yeah. And when I found a way to be able to, uh, which I guess we'll talk about it later in the episode, uh, when I found a way to be able to just play the special stages all the time, yeah. <laughs> like that was absolutely crazy. And there was actually times for a while there, even as an adult, where I would, just play the special stages. Yeah. Just like, I'm in the mood for some Sonic and I would just play the special stages. Okay, so I know you guys actually played this when Sonic and Knuckles was out, but back when the game first came out, like, I thought this game, like, literally only had six stages, but then when I put in the stage select code, it showed all these extra stages. I'm like, how do I access that? <laughs> but yeah, it, 
felt really, really short, obviously. You know, playing only six stages, you have this final showdown with Robotnik, which isn't as good as Sonic 2's final encounter, but I didn't know that there was still more of the game that was yeah. supposed to come out. Isn't it weird? It was supposed to be one big game, but I yeah. guess it was just too big. Yeah, from what I heard, you know, Sega wanted the game out by Groundhog Day in 1994, and so they had to rush it. And so they had to add the rest of the game in, in Sonic and Knuckles like later in the year. Which turned out better for them anyway, because then they could use the lock-on as an excuse yeah. to hook it up to other Sonic games and mm -hmm. stuff. Exactly. Or just Sonic 2 anyway. 3 and 2. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when Sonic and Knuckles was announced, I think like in fall of 94, I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. And I think we get to play those those hidden stages in Sonic 3, but they weren't really hidden stages because they were supposed to be part of the full game. Right, yeah, no, that was, and you know what, I never knew the stage select code back then, right. so like... It was really hard to put in. It, so I didn't uh, even ever come across that listing of stages or anything like that. Yeah. You know, by the time I had known about you know, Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles and all that stuff. It was pretty much all kind of within the same time period. So, you know, yeah. there was never a point where I was just kind of like, here's Sonic 3. Oh my God, they're making a Sonic & Knuckles? Like, it was just <laughs> kind of like one big piece of news for me. Yeah, because I remember I actually rented Sonic & Knuckles in 95, but I didn't rent it with Sonic 3 yet. So I, I just played that and I was really excited to play as Knuckles. <laughs> so I was really excited to play as Knuckles. You know, I first beat Sonic & Knuckles with Knuckles. Then I went back and beat it with everybody else. Yeah, it's weird that uh, uh, when you play as Knuckles, he can't play like all the stages. You, yeah. You get the last stages. Um, Sky Sanctuary, and that's it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but if you play as like Sonic, you get to go on the Death Egg. Death Egg, and then if you get all the Emeralds. And you emeralds, you go into Doomsday, Doomsday Zone. Favorite, my favorite. Yeah, because I rented the game again in like the summer of 95 with Sonic 3, so I so I spent like 10 bucks of my parents' money to rent hmm. both, of, both of the games, and I played the whole thing, and it was amazing. Did you get Hypersonic? Yep, I got oh. Hypersonic, I got Super Hyper Sonic, Knuckles. Super Knuckles, yeah. you know, Super I, Tails. I'd gotten Hypersonic through like codes and stuff like that, like later on, but one problem I had with like hyper characters in general is like in like platforming, like in uh, yeah. platforming sections, that was just so difficult. Like I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm hypersonic. Nothing can kill me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially in in like the Sandapolis zone, I think, you know, being oh, one of yeah. the hyper characters it was a little more difficult. Yeah. Oh, and then when you were hyper, you had the basically the, the special uh, shield mm -hmm. properties, yeah. except for the magnetic pool, of course, you up, down, and burst forward. And like every, and when you flash, every time you uh, double jumped, all the enemies would just poof, yeah, die. <laughs> on, just on the screen. You didn't have to hit them; it's just on the screen. Yeah, but also the problem with you know being hyper and super in this game, because since the game you know encourages more exploration, yeah, like Josh said, it's easy to fall down. Yeah, in a hole. definitely. Yeah, you know, like I remember the lava reef zone. You know, like I would fall down Very all good. the time, but it was an awesome zone. Well, one thing that was cool about it though was you could actually like choose when. You decided uh -huh. to go yeah. super in that you had to like double jump to do it this time, mm -hmm. rather than just like jump and all of a sudden da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, what I thought too, like you know, like the bonus stages, you know, once you hook up Sonic and Knuckles, are definitely a lot harder than the previous ones in the original six levels, but they're yeah. also you know, every bit as fun. Oh man, I remember one of them. Like you would jump on a one of those yellow orange spheres, and it would just. Yeah, the bounce Probably board. Yeah. One of the levels you had to go on one of those, bounce off of a bumper, and bounce off of another bumper, and then you had to go left and right at the right time. Yeah. And it, it was, was like tough. that for like a good four times, and it took for after to master. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like, I remember that one. Because you cheated. You cheated no, but I like playing those stages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, um,. Yeah, like when I first played it, I couldn't get all the Chaos Emeralds on my first run, but then I played it over and over, then I was able to get the Chaos Emeralds. Did, yeah. you, did it blow your mind when you found out that you can get an, uh, a Super Emerald? Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty awesome. Super Emeralds? Super Dragon Balls? Who's copying who now? <laughs> Even though this game came out over 20 years before Super Dragon Ball. Wait, was the Master Emerald in 3 or Knuckles? I, think, I know what um, it was. No, it was a Knuckles. Knuckles? Yeah. The Master Emerald. Yeah. And also, I remember the last battles with Robotnik. In this game, were really epic. On the Death oh, yeah, Egg. 
the death egg and then the and then in the doomsday zone <laughs> when you're super psyched you're chasing after him i was i was losing my shit i was like ah no because i've beaten sonic and knuckles 3 a lot but never almost hardly ever with uh, without the um hardly ever with the uh the rules yeah, yeah. And, like i beat i beat him like yeah i beat the game and then all of a sudden doomsday like, what what holy shit losing it yeah. <laughs> what was it? Another instance of Matt? <laughs> Look yeah. at this! We're chasing a robot like in space. In space. The hedgehog in space. 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 Oh yeah. So did you guys ever play Sonic and Knuckles hooked up with Sonic Two? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, having Knuckles climb in the chemical plant zone. I'd have him climb anywhere. Yeah, he's climb everywhere. anywhere. Yeah, and it was just pretty cool being able to have him like, okay, well, I remember this part. Well, now I'm just going to climb past it's this so and then glide easy. past everything. Because... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, fudge you! <laughs> so I found out about the Super Primals and how to beat Metal, Metal Sonic. Oh, yeah. Like, they had all accident with Knuckles. Yeah, they had a different Metal Sonic in this game. Um, Oh yeah, and Sonic. Oh, that's my favorite. Uh, aside, from, Sonic. aside from Sonic CD, so bad. Yeah, yeah, he's like Metal Sonic from Sonic CD on With steroids. steroids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like on I steroids. Like, yeah, <laughs> I like I like the Sonic CD uh, Metal Sonic best, but yeah, the one in the Sonic uh, the the one in uh, Sonic Three and Knuckles was the great, rejected yeah. orphan doctor. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I, I felt the Metal Sonic in this game was like the Sonic Terminator. Mm. Yeah, definitely. It's like the Sonic Nader. And now you can only base you can fight him with Knuckles or as Knuckles, which I thought was a, g a good spin. -off. Yeah. <laughs> I think finally got get it. it. Get it. Yeah. Spin. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Although I did find Robonic at the end of Sonic 2 as Knuckles a little more difficult because... Um, yeah, because he can't jump Yeah, he can't jump as high, so you have to get him while he's really low. Yeah, or you can uh, hit him while he's still up. Yeah. But, like, it's like... So it makes the pixel, battle... Almost pixel perfect. Yeah, jump. it makes the battle take a lot longer. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, anyways, so yeah, final thoughts on Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Like, I love this game. I think it's one of the best Sonic games, but I'm gonna have to say Sonic 2 is a little better for me since, you know, Sonic 2 is just an easier game just to just put in and play, where, where with Sonic 3, you know, it requires a lot more investment, like more exploration. Like, Son like you have to play it a lot longer. In my but opinion. Sonic 3 and Knuckles have saved games. Yeah, which is true. It's easier to play. You can be like, I could just stop playing this game for right now and come back and go on that same level rather than starting the whole game over. Yeah, that is true, but you know, but for Sonic too, I just put in the stage like it even saves just it even saves the chaos emeralds that you get. My favorite part is locking it onto Sonic One or pretty much any other Sega game. Oh yeah. So I could just play the special stages oh, all the time. Right. Yeah. Like two hundred and fifty-five of them or something like that. It's I think it just kept going. There, there was there was a limit, but yeah. there was just like so many that like you know there's no way to memorize. Yeah, because I remember hooking it up to Emperor of Rome. I hooked it up to Altered Beast, and I hooked it up to Beyond Oasis. I hooked it up to Power Rangers. And was disappointed. <laughs> I, I think, no I think Power Rangers was one of the ones I hooked it up to also, <laughs> yeah. just to see what would happen. And I think that was the day that I discovered that because uh, I was over at a friend's house, and we were playing both. Sonic games, and we were playing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, like that fighting game on the Genesis, and the uh, and we hooked up Sonic and Knuckles to Power Rangers, and that's when I found out you could do the thing where you could play the special stages like all the time. And I was like, what? It was kind of like that. Mm -hmm. It's that exact noise. Ah! <laughs> so. Yeah, so Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3, you can get these on like any Sega compilation. You can get them on the virtual console. You can even play it on your phone. I mean, I don't know if you can play it well, but... Yes, yeah, oh yeah, you we'll play, play it, it well, yeah, not on the phone, but yeah. I mean, I'm, I guess I'll just rebuy it for Nintendo Switch if they do a Sonic compilation. How many times am I going to have to buy Metal Slug? <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember I did buy the... You know, the DS Sonic compilation and played this on there, so maybe I'll buy it again. Uh, yeah, I'll probably end up grabbing it again eventually. Yeah. Like, just gotta, you get an itch for it once in a while, you know. Yeah. Alright, so that wraps up this episode of Awesome Video Game Memories about Sonic 3 and Knuckles. 
And if you have any memories about this game, make sure to leave those in the comments below. So I'm Ryan. I'm Josh. Player 3, Frank. And Knuckles. And Knuckles. Hey, did you like what you see? Then come check us out at twitch.tv slash battlegeekplus. Hey guys, want to support us? You can support us at patreon.com slash battlegeekplus because every dollar helps us bring you a better show.